St. Clair is the co-foundress of the Order of Poor Ladies, or Clares, and first abbess of San Damiano. She was born at Assisi, Italy, on the 16th of July, in 1194 and died there on the 11th of August, in 1253. She was the eldest daughter of Favrino Sci-Fi, Count of Sasso Rosso, representative of a wealthy ancient Roman family, who owned a large palace in Assisi and a castle on the slope of Mount Sebastio. Her saintly mother, Blessed Ortolana, belonged to the noble family of Fumi and was noted for her zeal and piety. As a child she was most devoted to prayer and to practices of mortification, and as she passed into girlhood her distaste for the world and her yearning for a more spiritual life increased. She was 18 years of age when St. Francis came to preach the Lenten course in the Church of San Giorgio at Assisi. The inspired words of Francis kindled a flame in the heart of Claire, she sought him out secretly and begged him to help her that she too might live after the manner of the Holy Gospel. St. Francis, who at once recognized in Claire one of those chosen souls destined by God for great things, and who also, probably, realized that many would follow her example, promised to assist her. On the night of Palm Sunday she secretly left her father's house, by St. Francis's advice and, accompanied by her Aunt Bianca and another companion, proceeded to the humble chapel of the poor Zyankula, where St. Francis and his disciples met her with lights in their hands. Claire then laid aside her rich dress, and St. Francis, having cut off her hair, clothed her in a rough tunic and a thick veil, and in this way the young heroine vowed herself to the service of Jesus Christ. This was on the 20th of March, in 1212. She and her following of nuns devoted themselves to a cloistered life of prayer and penance. Claire wrote their rule of life, the first set of monastic guidelines known to have been written by a woman. Claire was soon joined by her sister Katerina, who took the name Agnes. Once, during an enemy attack against Assisi, and while the army was approaching the gates, the fierce Saracens invaded San Damiano, entered the confines of the monastery and even the very cloister of the sisters. Saint Claire, with a fearless heart, sick as she was, went to the enemy, preceded by a silver and ivory case in which the body of Christ, Eucharist, was kept with great devotion. And prostrating herself before the Lord, she spoke tearfully to her Christ, Behold, my Lord, is it possible you want to deliver into the hands of pagans your defenseless handmaids, whom I have taught out of love for you? I pray you, Lord, protect these your handmaids whom I cannot now save by myself. Suddenly a voice like that of a child resounded in her ears from the tabernacle, I will always protect you. My Lord, she added, if it is your wish, protect also this city which is sustained by your love. Christ replied, it will have to undergo trials, but it will be defended by my protection. Then the Virgin, raising a face bathed in tears, comforted the sisters, I assure you, daughters, that you will suffer no evil, only have faith in Christ. Upon seeing the courage of the sisters, the Saracens took flight and fled back over the walls they had scaled, unnerved by the strength of she who prayed. She is the patron saint of, eye disease, goldsmiths, laundry, television, bicycle messengers, good weather, needle workers, remote viewing, extrasensory perception, Santa Clara, California, Santa Clara Pueblo, New Mexico, Obando, Bulacan, and the Philippines. Her feast day is on the 11th of August. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.